So welcome back aliens. This is Navin Reddy from Toys School Learnings and in this video we'll talk about null handling in Kotlin. Now if you remember uh, when we are talking about this alien class we were having this question mark here right and we have not talked about question mark yet I was ignoring that part for a long time. Let's talk about this. Let's, let's try to understand what is this. Let's say if I create a variable here which is called as a name and the type of this variable is string what if, if I don't assign the value? So that's fine. But then what if I assign a value null? Again, null is evil in Java, right? We try to avoid null as much as possible because ultimately we get this awesome exception, which is null pointer exception, right? And somewhere, you know, we, I mean, I, I'm sure an 80% of time when you get an error, we know that it is null pointer exception. So Scotland says, you know, we can, Scotland will handle your null values properly. Example. By default, you are not allowed to assign the null value to an object. Example, let's say if I create a string variable here, if I say var str and if I, if I say this is of type string and if I assign a null value to this, the moment I do that, you can see we are getting an error. It says null cannot be a value of non-null type string. That means if you define a string here, it is by default not null. That means you cannot assign a null value to it. So in, if you cannot assign a null value, of course in future you will not get null point exception, right? That's an awesome thing. So Kotlin by default doesn't support null value or it will not allow you to put null values there. In case if you, if you want to allow it to do that, you can put a question mark there. The moment you put a question mark, everything is solved. As you can see, there is no error now. You can use null values. The way you can do that for string, we can also do that for uh, so the same thing is happening here. As you can see, we wanted to assign a null value. That's why we are using question mark. So question mark is allowing null. That means you, this, this string can be nullable. Now let's say if I create object of alien here. So if I say var, uh, I will go for the same object name which we were using before, tit2. And if, if I say equal to an alien, this is an alien object here, right? Now question arise, if you have an alien object and if you try to print the value of this, if I say... Uh, print ln and if I give uh, tit2 dot a uh, name again the name is null uh, I mean it's it's null as of now right if I run this code okay so you can see it is printing null here so when I run this code the print the output is null but then if I if I try to print if I try to get some properties of this example I want to know the okay what property we can use maybe I want to fetch the length of it the moment I do that, you can see we are getting an error. It says only safe or null, non-null asserted, which means this is nullable, right? You are allowing to use it nullable. So in case if you want to use that, then you have to put a question mark here. So when we use question mark, then only it will work. Otherwise, it will not work. So if you are using a nullab nullable string, you have to use question mark everywhere. So let's run this code now. Okay, and can you see that it is it is printing null because of course this is a null value, right? So it is it is you know calmly handling the null values here. Now if you if you do this in the in Java, of course it will give you null pointer exception, right? So that's how you can use with this name. But what if I if can we can we do this with our own objects? Can we do this with alien object which is T2? So let's try. So if I assign if I let later if I say T2 uh, equal to null, if I assign a null value to this. Uh, and you can see the moment I do that, we are getting error. So you can see we are getting an error. It says not, null cannot be a value of not null. So again, we have to put a question mark here. The moment I do that, if I put a question mark, oh, but before that, if you want to put a question mark, you have to also specify a type of this T2, which is optional initially, okay, because we are assigning alien here. But then if you want to use question mark, you have to put alien here as well. Okay, so once you assign a value of type alien, now you can make it null. And the moment I try to fetch the value of uh, of T2, so if I say I want to fetch the name of T2, which is blank as of now, and you can see we are getting error. Again, if you want to make it use it, you have to put question mark. So using this, you are actually handling the null values. You are reducing the null point exceptions, right? So that's how Kotlin is more stable in compared to Java because we we are avoiding exceptions here. So yeah, that's it. That's how you handle null and that's how that's why the question mark is there. So if you want to assign null values, we put question mark, which is nullable values. So that's it from this video. If you have any problem, just comment in the comment section. 
uh, if I cannot answer, we have a community who will answer these questions. And do subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.